is a pivotal moment in the history of one of Tennessee's most controversial figures. And this week, the State Capitol Commission will make a decision on whether or not the bust of Nathan Bedford Force will come down. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran tells us the meeting is scheduled for just one day, but the push to bring this bust down has been happening for quite a while. This is an issue that is not recent in Tennessee. Over the past few years, many people have called for the bust of Nathan Bedford Force to be removed. But now the Capitol Commission will have an actual hearing about it and we'll see what happens there. A person of this character and who can, did these horrible, horrific crimes is what they were. Here it is, the statue that has sparked so much debate in the state of Tennessee, a monument to a man who many say is a representation of the suppression of black people. Few people debate Nathan Bedford Forrest's past is controversial. He was the first leader of the KKK, a slave trader, and fought to keep people enslaved. His bus sits inside the state capitol. To know how much it hurts black people to walk past that statue every day. Right in between both houses of the General Assembly. Does not deserve a place of prominence in the state capitol. Senator Brenda Gilmore says he shouldn't be there. Uh, trying to influence my colleagues across the aisle and the governor to make the right decision. That's what she will be telling the state capitol commission this Thursday morning. As shocking and as cruel as it may sound, he was fighting against America at this time. In today's term, he will be known as a traitor. So we should not be celebrating him. Governor Bill Lee has said the issue of the bust is out of his hands. I have confidence that our process here in Tennessee with the Capitol Commission will be fair and representative of Tennesseans. He believes the Capitol Commission is the right body to discuss the statue's removal. He certainly does not deserve a place of prominence. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. If the Capitol Commission votes to remove the bust, it will then go to the Historical Commission for their vote.